What's going on, Hacker Valley fam? Welcome back to the show. We got to talk about leveling up from an attack surface management perspective. I'm here to help you with the one thing that can make anyone's day a little bit easier. It's my friend automation. Automation is essential for attack surface management. Without automation, you'll likely end up managing a massive spreadsheet to help you understand the context and intelligence about your environment. Spreadsheet isn't a bad thing as long as one of your team members isn't managing the rows and the columns for that spreadsheet. There are so many solutions out there. I have a strategy for identifying how to pick the best solution for you, and I can break it down to just three simple steps. Step one. Identify your goal and be specific. For example, your goal could be to understand and inventory all of the publicly accessible domains within your environment. Step two is identify data sources. Where can information be pulled to help support this use case? Is it information that we pull internally or externally, or maybe even both? For our use case, we want to be able to pull information from our DNS provider and we want to cross reference it by trying to visit each domain to see if we can in fact access it publicly. Step three is to document the steps required for a human to go along with this use case. This can be looked at as analyst tradecraft, understanding step by step, what would an analyst do? By performing these three steps, you can find the right solution for you to automate attack service management discovery by matching the details that you want to collect with the solutions that are available. Another option is to create custom automation. You can use things like Go or Python, really any programming language to support your use cases. In step two, I needed to identify my data sources. For my example, we're gonna use AWS Route 53 and URL scan to iterate and try to access each uh, domain. In step three, I need to document the steps that I, as a human, would follow to reach this conclusion. Step one for me is to go into AWS and go into Route 53 and review each zone. Pull each domain from each zone. Step two is for a user to log into a URL scan and attempt to browse to that site. Step three is to record the results in a database, a spreadsheet, or our CMDB. Step four, repeat steps two and three until all of the domains have been iterated on and passed to URL scan. By breaking this down into simple and digestible pieces, it's gonna be a lot easier to automate your attack service management use cases. I'd recommend checking out NetSpy's attack service management platform. Their solution comes out of the box with many of the integrations that will help you manage your external attack surface. You can collect things like domains, ASNs, IPs, and cloud accounts. Their solution also helps you manage and reduce exposures when it comes to things like SSL certificates and vulnerabilities, the things that matter most. SPI also provides their ASM consultants with their platform to help you truly understand the threats your organization is exposed to and how to minimize your attack surface. Be sure to check out NetSpy by visiting netspy.com forward slash Hacker Valley and let them know we sent you. Attack surface management is a continuous process. After tackling use cases like publicly accessible web resources, be sure to iterate and solve for the next use case. With that, we will see everyone in the next video.